He polar swam to me. Did I please tell me I came out of the triage? Please. Please. Oh, he's so salty. He's upset. He's actually upset. He's actually upset. Hey guys, it's your boy Gloopy, and I hope you're having a great day today, and I'm back on the Dummy Think Dark Nova. We're rocking 9k health, 100 damage, 63 resist, 6 accuracy. Okay, block, low crit, doesn't matter, 44 pierce, pretty good heal boost, and a maximum shad ridding. Low percent power bib, but it doesn't really matter, because we don't use, like, any power bibs on most stuff. So to get these houses, we're rocking this gear, and this gear, with this insane pet. And here's the main deck, and here's the side deck. One thing I did add was two of these shift dread paladins. I have a good friend who's a death dark nova, and he actually packs these, and he he's like, these are the best things ever. I tried it out on stream, it did work a little bit. So, I'm gonna try it against, ooh, against an ice. The good news is actually, we're second, so we should be able to out shad him like a 100%. Because I don't think there's any way an ice wizard can get 137 shad rating. So automatically we have more shad rating than him and we're second so we should just naturally have more shad rating is he just gonna blade stack okay so he's just gonna go for a frostbite are those the same or are they different those are different so he's literally just gonna go for a frostbite i am gonna probably overdraw here okay i did get the triage so i'm gonna go ahead and mana burn his cheeks this way does a little bit of damage to him that way the nova doesn't have to do as much and he still can't go for anything other than a polar swarm do you shield again though if he shields again i just want it if not i don't really know what to do oh he stun blocks that was a good move can you please just go for a frostbite i would love to shift that Okay, he does crit the frostbite, but we do have ward, um, and that's all of his pips. That wasn't that good of a move because he can't follow it up. A better move would be to have enough pips to go for a frostbite into and a bomb, because now he would have had a bubbled sleet storm to bomb, but he just didn't keep his pips. So now I just do a very, very easy dummy thick triage. And we're about to get the other shad. Not a good move though, considering I don't have the shadow blade. And against an ice wizard, you 100% need that extra shadow blade. So he does shield. I think I'm gonna actually summon the clockwork minion here. Because he can send a Climaclysm on me, but that's all of his pips. He does Polar Swarm him. If I pull him out of the triage, I will be able to triage that, I think. Because he doesn't die to the first hit, does he? Surely not. Yeah, he doesn't. Um, I would love to triage that minion. I packed three triages. Unfortunately, no triage. So I'm going to go ahead and actually discard that. And oh, I got it. Triage the minion. I was going to say, go ahead and empower into the Clockwork Spider. That way I can no longer fail pip and I change the bubble. But this is just even better. And I, unless he sends an ice wand hit, I don't think the minion even dies. And we got the Nightbringer for the Hex. This is going perfectly. I think I'm actually going to empower because this is his last turn of Sleet Storm. Is he just blading himself again? Minion, that would be amazing. Oh, oh, I can just take out his minion with a Clockwork Spider. Minion, shield me, please. I mean, that's also very, very good. I'm going to go ahead. This is by far my best move. I take out his minion and I cannot fail Pip. And the minion can gain power pips. That's absolutely perfect. Now he's going to choose between taking an open shot on me, which he can't even do right now, but taking an open shot on me, taking out the minion, and changing the bubble. All I need is the shadow blade. I send the shadow blade into the dark nova, and I can just win this. Or he could just fizzle. If he fizzles, I send the dark nova. I got the shadow blade. I send the shadow blade first. Hopefully the minion hits. He's going for a bubble, I would assume. Can you fizzle that? Ooh, interesting. Are those the same? They are the same. So I probably actually want to go for... The Shadow Blade into the Death Bat or the Steel Giant into the Dark Nova. Does he just Ice Wand hit that minion? He Polar Swarms to me. Did I please tell me I kept my other triage? That would be amazing if I just kept my other triage here. I, th I know I pulled it. If I kept it and I can use it on the minion, that would be amazing plays. Please. Please. Oh, he's so salty. He's upset. He's actually upset. He's actually upset. Oh, now he Wand hits it? Oh, beautiful. Oh, you, you love to see it. And I got the Steel Giant, 100%. Steel Giant into the Dark Nova. He can't do anything to this. And he doesn't have, the, he shouldn't have the pips to Earthquake me either, like at all. Does he just shield here? Please tell me you shield here. You can also bubble here. He does shield. Very bad move. I could Mander. Actually, no, I'm going to Dark Nova. That's why I did the overtime. A Mander would be amazing because if he doesn't have a counter to the Mander, that would just provide so much extra value for me. I'm going to hope to get the Infowl here because with my 44 Pierce along with the Infowl, that's like 60 Pierce along with the, the Pierce Blade from the Nova, that's 70 Pierce. So if I get an open Nova, that's just going to be amazing. Does he just a bomb here? I would not recommend a bombing here. 
I mean, he does, I guess. You could do that. I think what I want to do is actually Nightbringer Hex here into the Green Oak, into the Paladin, or Paladin into the Green Oak. Actually, no, it'd be better to do the Green Oak here, I think. So I think this is the best case scenario for me. He also can't beguile me. He can't stun me. If he dispels me, I just use a shift hit in foul me pet. There we go. 70 pierce, just like that. Well, really 69 pierce, but basically 70 pierce and the double cast. You, you love to see it. You love to see it. If he doesn't shield here, I can actually go for the Nightbringer Hex. Please tell me you don't shield. Ah, see, I could go for the Nightbringer Hex, but if I went for it, then the problem with that would be he could just double shield and I couldn't pierce through all of it. So I am going to go the shift Paladin and I'm going to hope on getting the 55. Just yeah. just do it. Just do it. You know you want to. You know you want to. Oh, no. So I don't actually think this kills, but this is going to do a massive amount of damage. I should pierce through almost all of his resist. And what can he do to me? Absolutely nothing. And I'm all, like, literally, I think I'm getting another shad the next turn. So I should be able to just to double Dark Nova. And now I have the Nightbringer Hex, too. So he still has resist, but any resist he has is just minuscule. Oh, they got 7k to an ice just like that. He doesn't get the aura. I don't have aura pops in my deck. I do have a Sunion farm, so I am getting the 75% accuracy Sunions. So that will be good once I can get them. But unfortunately, right now is not that time. I'm also about to get a Shad too. He's blading. I think I could just minion again, because I have the pips to send the Dark Nova very easily. But I don't have the dark. I'm not gonna need the Nightbringer Hex. I will not need to make my Nova last longer. I just have to Nova, Savage Paw, Midnight Sprite. Or if I pull it, Nova Sprite Sprite. Just something like that. Very easy play. Uh, there's the infall. If I get the Nova right now, I have to send it. Because his pips are so low. Please. Please. Oh, that's that's not good. Uh, but I can green oak into the midnight sprite. I'm gonna tower shield. I really desperately need the, another dark nova. I'm gonna hope I kept him. So if he did crit. And Ice Wand it. Wasted both of his blades. Very interesting move. So I did pull the Nova. Ice in the Dark Nova here. I don't see any way he can win. Because then I can just very easily Green Oak into the Sprite. And unless he Death Dispels me, he cannot do anything to that. Does he just bomb me here? Interesting. All right, I don't know what he has up his sleeve. But obviously a Green Oak is my best bet here. Actually, is it? Actually, I think a sprite is my best bet because then if he goes for a death dispel, I can't do anything. Because if I green oak first and he goes for a death dispel, I cannot do anything. If I do this first and then he death dispels or balance any kind of dispel, I just send the shift green oak and it's a very easy play. He can balance dispel me so I can't savage ball. He can death dispel me so I can't faint. But I literally just send the green oak here and it's 100% IQ plays. And not even a crit climaclysm does enough to where my backlash kills me. Diego, what are you doing? This 100% kills. No. What's that doing? What the, 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 the why? Probably his smartest move there was to go for some sort of dispel to predict what I had in my hand. And that's obviously why I sent the sprite first. Um, I guess he just doesn't pack them, didn't have it, or just hasn't played against Nova enough to know. But very easy against Ice. You just double Nova. I think the double triage kind of clutched it, though, I, to be honest. How much is this doing? Because it's like the same as last time, isn't it? It, it's literally the exact same. How much? Yeah, he's. I still pierce almost all of his resist. That's gotta be doing a lot. Oh yeah, just 7k casually. We got another match. Looks like we're going to fire. I don't think he should be able to outshad us that hard because again, we're rocking 137 shattering, and even though we're second, 137 is pretty tough to get without giving up some stats unless you're a Dark Nova. Which I mean, as a Dark Nova, you give up stats, but it doesn't really matter. Does he just go for the immediate fuel? If he does, I'm summoning a minion. Interesting move into a shield. I don't know if I would have done that. He's out of pips. I think I'm gonna summon the clockwork minion here because unless he has a fire wand hit or like a fire shark or fire elf, he doesn't kill my minion. And if it's a fire elf, I can very easily just triage it. He does go for the minion. What is he doing? He does fire shark. Interesting. That's really good for me, actually. Um, even though I do lose two pips in this exchange, the amount of pips he took, he used taking off my shield makes it about even. And there's one fire shark that he cannot use on me. I'm actually going to discard a clockwork because that's only about a 25 bubble. I'm not that worried about it. Um, if I am, I can always just clockwork spider later. He does blade here. He gets the furnace too. I think he's going to literally try to wyvern us, which is not the best for us. So I'm going to go ahead and actually go for the shadow blade since we already have the stun blocks, the shield. 
We already have everything enchanted that we need. We just need the Dark Nova. A Nightbringer is good, but not against a fire, because we should be able to kill them um, without going for the Nightbringer. He is blading different. No, that's three of the same, isn't it? Those are three of the same. So I'm going to take the dummies to think mana burns. We only have 22 balance pierce, but with the info, we have 37 balance pierce. It does make our mana burns do a little bit more. Does he just go for a fire wyvern here? Oh, fire elf. Interesting. I think I just burn again, to be honest, because he's from the looks of it. He's just going to try to fire elf spam us down. I need to pull a shield here. I cannot take an open swarm machine at all costs. Beautiful. I actually pull it. I should be able to get the dark Nova here, too. What does he send? Really? He just sends a Krampus. Well, I have to send the Dark Nova. If I power it, I think I can win this. If I don't power it, I legitimately think I just lose. I have exactly a 51% chance to power this. So more likely than not, I should power this Dark Nova. Oh my goodness, perfect. So we can actually do this into the Green Oak, into the Sprite. Now I would prefer the Sprite into the Green Oak. That way we have the larger buff on the, on the tail end. But unfortunately for us, I think if we don't do a green oak, he can just do so much damage to us. And I don't feel like taking that. He's obviously just going to shield and do a hit here. So I have to green oak. I don't know if I tank a crit s'more machine and my backlash. That's the only thing. Now, if he shields here, um, it's not the worst for me, actually. I just need to get a dummy thick in foul and then I can go for a faint. Is he shielding? He is trying to shield his way out of this. Um, Not the best move, actually, I would think. Now, I could faint or go for the sprite. Actually, I'm not going to faint because if I faint, I'm literally just going to die to whatever he does to me because he could literally swarm machine me into a pip convert into an FFA. So I'm going to do this into a shield into a burn, most likely. Or he could try to Efreet me, too. But I don't think this kills unless I get the info because I think he has like a sliver of resist left. And that resist, I think, is going to make it to where the Nova won't kill. I mean, it could just straight up kill here. Ooh, no infowl. So I'm going to take 900 backlash. And does he kill me? That's the only thing I'm worried about. No crit, as usual. That's a lot of that's a lot of buffs for a Nova. Okay, I do pierce through everything. That's perfect. So he's just running full glass cannon. That should kill. Ooh, it is so close. Well, there's the infowl. <laughs> that's actually going to be really good for anything I want to go for. Like a burn would be amazing now that I actually have it. He doesn't Efreet me. What is he doing? All right. I think I have to shield here. His move here was either Efreet to try to stall it or go for a small machine or FFA. Oh, wow. Well, if I had Supernovas inside, I would be able to kill here. Unfortunately for me, I do not. Oh, that 100% kills. I think. Oh, my goodness. Oh, does it, does a Steel Giant kill? Ooh, I could have shielded into a... Ooh, I could have shielded into a Mana Burn. A Steel Giant better kill. Oh, a Steel Giant better kill. Come on, Steel Giant. I've got 100 damage and a bunch of peers. Actually, not a bunch of peers for balance. But I do crit it. Does he block it? He doesn't block it. I pierce everything. Does it still giant kill? It does zero. Just do 174. Yes! Yes! Oh, we do those absolutely insane matches. If you liked the video, hit the like button below. But only like it if you did like it. And if you learned something today, hit that sub button. Turn on notifications. That way you're notified whenever I upload a video. I'm posting your tips, tricks, questions, comments, or hate mail in the comments below. And I'll be reading those as soon as I see them. But until then, I hope you have a great day. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.